post. Today we will see about leave rules MCQs that is CCS leave rules 1972. This is the second video and if you are not watched the first one, go and watch it. This video will be useful for IBO examination, PS group B examination. First question. Can a government servant who has been compulsory retired as a measure of penalty be eligible for encashment of leave salary? Not eligible. Eligible for 50% of EL at credit. Eligible for EL at credit. Eligible for 50% of HPL. Your time starts now. Please try to post your answer in the comment section. That way you can uh, remember. Government servant who has compulsory retired as a matter of penalty, measure of penalty eligible for EL at credit. Okay. Next question. An authority competent to grant leave uh, may issue provisional sanction of leave until a report regarding admissibility is obtained for a period or not exceeding 120 days, 60 days, 30 days, 180 days. Your time starts now. 5 seconds. A competent authority can grant leave on provisional basis uh, until the until the report regarding admissibility and before uh, getting the admissibility report uh, it not exceeding 60 days it can be granted next question cash equivalent of leave salary for EL to be paid in case of uh, voluntary retirement premature retirement a re-employed pensioner all of the above Our time starts now EL encashment is payable to whom on on all of these is correct. Voluntary retirement, premature retirement and re-employed pensioner, they will be given the leave and cash. What is the leave salary payable to a government servant uh, who proceeds on leave not due? Last paid run, half the amount of pay admissible to EL, three-fourth of the amount to pay admissible to EL, no leave salary. Your time starts now. Leave salary payable to government servant who proceeds on leave not due, L and D. The answer is... Uh, half the amount of pay admissible to EL. Next question, that is HPL amount they will give. What is the maximum period up to which uh, maternity leave can be granted to a female government servant who is unmarried? 45 days, 90 days, 180 days, not eligible. Your time starts now. Maternity leave. The answer is 180 days. Next question. A female government servant uh, who has four surviving children requested for sanction of maternity leave on account of abortion along with MC. Is she eligible for such a request? Not eligible. Eligible not exceeding 30 days. Eligible not exceeding 180 days. Eligible not exceeding 45 days during the entire service. Time starts now. Four surviving children. The answer is uh, yes. Uh, not eligible is uh, eligible not exceeding 45 days during the entire service. There is no limit of uh, four surviving children or such. The respect of number of child uh, in the entire service, 45 days can be given for miscarriage. A female government servant applied for maternity leave on account of threatened abortion. To what extent she is eligible? Eligible for 45 days without MC? Not eligible? Eligible for 20 days with MC at the discretion of leave sanctioning authority? But time starts now. Maternity leave on account of threatened abortion, it is not eligible. Next question. To which leave account a maternity leave is debited? Parent leave, half pay leave, no leave account, child care leave. Your time starts now. Maternity leave will be debited to which account? It is a no leave account will be there. It will be separately maintained. Name the kind of leave that is not debited to any leave account. Parent leave, half pay leave. Child adoption leave, maternity leave. Committed leave, half pay leave. Half pay leave, committed leave. The time starts now. The answer is uh, child adoption leave and maternity leave. It will not be debited to any account. What is the maximum period of committed leave that can be allowed to a female government servant uh, without production of MC in continuation of maternity leave? 1 year, 2 years, 60 days, 180 days. Your time starts now. After uh, maximum period of committed leave that can be allowed to a female government servant without production of MC in continuation of maternity leave. In continuation of maternity leave, how many days uh, committed leave can be given? 
it is uh, i think it is 60 days maximum is 60 days can do check up next question is an unmarried male government servant eligible for a grant of paternity leave eligible for 15 days eligible for 20 days not eligible eligible for 45 days your time starts now unmarried male government servant eligible for grant of paternity leave is that there? it is not eligible unmarried means not eligible only married government servant will be eligible for paternity leave if paternity leave is not availed for by of by the government servant what will happen to such leave leave not availed can be credited to his el account it can be carried over to next confinement of his wife it can be credited to hpl account it will lapse your time starts now but our uh, paternity leave that is not availed by government servant it will lapse next question is an apprentice eligible for grant of paternity leave for child adoption eligible for 10 days 15 days 20 days not eligible apprentice answer is uh, eligible for 15 days next question what is the age limit of child stipulated for grant of child adoption leave more than one year below age of one year below age of 16 months below the age of 18 months your time starts now age limit for uh, child stipulated for grant of uh, child adoption leave it is less than one year the age should be less than one year of the child what is the maximum period of child adoption leave that can be granted to a female government servant 135 days 90 days 45 days 180 days your time starts now maximum period of a child adoption leave it is 180 days next question what is the maximum period of uh, leave not due without medical certificate uh, that can be granted to a female government servant in continuation of uh, child adoption leave Six, 30 days 60 days 90 days 120 days your time starts now l and d without mc how many days it is 60 days next question what is the maximum period of any kind of leave that is admissible in continuation of child adoption leave if the age of the adopted child is nine months old up to one year six months three months nil your time starts now the maximum period of any kind of leave that is admissible in continuation of uh, child adoption leave if the age of the child is nine months old it is three months only it will be it is allowed up to 12 months minus nine months up to one year only it is allowed so between period it is uh, three months that uh, three months only it is it they are eligible what is the maximum period of child care leave allowed during the entire service of the female government servant 365 days 547 days 732 days 730 days time starts now please post your answer in the comment section it is 730 days next question for how many minor children a female government servant can request for grant of child care leave for three children two eldest children for any two children no limit your time starts now how many children it is uh, two eldest children only allowed what is the maximum age limit prescribed for a child who has a disability of 60 percent for grant of child leave to a female government servant above the age of 25 years below the age of 25 years no age limit age between 25 years and 30 years please watch the video on uh, child care leave separately some eight minutes uh, uh, nine minutes video i have made complete uh, completely covering all the points the answer is no age limit whenever the disability is beyond 40 percent here it is 60 so it is no limit how many spells of child care leave can be allowed to a female government servant in a calendar year one spell no limit two spells three spells time starts now the answer is uh, three spells are allowed next question what is the minimum period of child care leave to be considered for sanction to a female government servant 10 days 5 days 20 days 30 days minimum period what is the minimum period of a ccl for consideration of her sanction the answer is 5 days minimum should be 5 days mention the purpose for which child care leave can be applied for uh, by a female government servant 
private grounds, illness of self with MC, to look after the needs of children like examination and illness to avail LTC. Your time starts now. Child care leave is for meant for what purposes? To look after the needs of the child uh, like examination and illness. Mention the date from which child care leave came into effect. 1-1-2006-8, 1-9-2008, 1-1-2016. It has been introduced with the reference to the 7th Pay Commission, so it is 1-9-2008. What is the minimum percentage of disability prescribed for a disabled child for grant of child care leave to the female government servant? 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%. Your time starts now. Minimum percentage of disability prescribed is 40%. Next question. What will be the leave salary payable in the case of child care leave availed by a woman employee half earn, earn leave equal to the pay drawn immediately preceding the on the leave 100 percent of salary for the first 65 days and 80 days for the next 365 days no leave salary time starts now for child care leave what is the leave salary payable for a woman employee it is 100 percent salary for the first 365 days and 80 percent for the next 365 days next question what is the maximum limit of exyl without a medical certificate of a government servant uh, which will count for increment as per leave rules three months 120 days less than six months none of the above the answer is uh, less than six months next question what is the amount of leave uh, salary payable under will w r i i l to a government servant immediately following the hospitalization rule 442a of leave ccs leave rules 1972 full pay and allowances for 6 months half pay for 12 months full pay and allowances for six, first 6 months and half pay for 12 months beyond the said period of 6 months full pay and allowances with no age limit regarding period time starts now please post your answer in the comment section for it. The answer is uh, full pay and allowances for the first 6 months and half pay for the next 12 months uh, beyond the set period of 6 months. What is the time period uh, prescribed to grant full pay and allowances uh, to an employee during the period of hospitalization on account of WRIIL? Rule 44.1 6 months uh, during hospitalization, 12 months, 24 months, uh, entire period of hospitalization. The answer is uh, for the entire period of hospitalization, full pay and allowances uh, will be granted. Earlier, what we have seen is after hospitalization. Okay. Under what circumstances is work related illness and injury leave WRIIL admissible to the government servant? Rule 441 of CCS Leave Rules 1972. When a government servant had injury which disabled him while returning home, an injury leave occurred to the government servant which disabled him due to falling of a ceiling fan, ceiling fan while performing his official duty during working hours uh, when a government servant fell down while boarding a bus before joining duty in a new station. When a government servant fell ill uh, which disabled him uh, while on leave. Your time starts now. Under which of the following circumstances uh, prill is allowed? The answer is uh, B, that is an injury occurred to the government servant uh, which disabled him due to falling of a ceiling fan and uh, while performing his official duty during the working hours. Next question, what is the period of which a half pay leave will be granted after availing WRIIL rule 44 2A of uh, CCS leave rules 1972 6 months 12 months no specific period for a period up to which the government servant is likely to earn half pay leave thereafter your time starts now half pay leave after availing WRIIL the answer is 12 months next question what is the maximum period of uh, semen sick leave uh, allowed to a government servant 2 weeks 4 weeks 6 weeks 8 weeks your time starts now 5 seconds. Please post your answer in the comment section. The answer is 6 weeks. Next question. What is the total period of seaman 6 leave granted to a seaman who is uh, disabled in the exercise of his duty? 2 months, 3 months, 
फोर मंथ्स फाइव मंथ्स योर टाइम स्टार्ट्स नो व्हाट इज द टोटल पीरियड ऑफ सीमेन सिक लीव ग्रांटेड टू अ सीमेन हु इज डिसेबल्ड इन द एक्सरसाइज ऑफ ड्यूटी इट इज थ्री मंथ्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आइडेंटिफाई द रूल अंडर व्हिच डील्स विद ग्रांट ऑफ स्पेशल लीव टू एन एग्रीव्ड फीमेल गवर्नमेंट सर्वेंट ड्यूरिंग द एंक्वायरी ऑन सेक्सुअल हैरेसमेंट रूल 18 रूल 43 रूल 45 रूल 48 योर टाइम स्टार्ट्स नो The answer is uh, Rule Forty Eight. Next question: Who is eligible for grant of study leave? Group A officers only. Group B gusted officers only. Group C officers only. All gusted and non-gusted staff. Your time starts now. Study leave. It is all gusted and non-gusted staff. Next question: What is the minimum period of service required for sanction of study leave? Three years, two years, five years, one year. Your time starts now. To grant a sank study leave, sir, to sanction a study leave, what is the minimum period of service required? It is five years. From the date on which he is expected to return to duty after leave, study leave may not be granted to a government servant who is due to reach the age of superannuation within three, five years, two years, ten years. The answer is uh, three years. Next question. Name the course from the following uh, for which study leave is not admissible. PG in medical sciences course is connected with public administration. Course of study for obtaining PhD study in regular academic courses not admissible. You should understand that this is uh, not admissible. The answer is um, course in a regular academic courses. It is not admissible. For PG in medical sciences or public administration course or PhD, it is admissible. What is the maximum period of study leave admissible to a government servant other than CHS officers during the entire service? Thirty six, twenty eight, twenty four, eighteen months. Time starts now. Please post your answer in the comment section. Other than CHS of officers, it is twenty four months. Next question. What are the allowances computed for payment of leave salary in respect of government servant? Who is availing study leave in India? Last pay drawn including D A, pay plus D A and H R A, pay excluding other allowances, uh, no salary pay. The time starts now. In respect of study leave, what is given? Last pay drawn including D A. Next question: What is the maximum period of study leave that can be granted to a central? Health service officers uh, during entire service: thirty-six months, forty-two months, forty-eight months, twenty-four months. Your time starts now. Generally, study leave will be for twenty-four months. For CHS officers, that is Central Health Service officers, it is thirty-six months. Next question: Who will meet the cost of fees paid by for study leave during this? For study during the study leave, government, government servant, institute which offers study, partly by government and institute. Your time starts now. Cost of fees for this study. The answer is government servant has to pay. From the following, name the institute that offers a fellowship for which study leave is admissible. IIT, IIM, the Regional Labour Institute, Indian Institute of Sciences. Your time starts now. The answer is IIM. Next question. What is the maximum period of interruption that can be waived for authorizing the payment of study or study allowance? Twenty days, fifteen days, fourteen days, ten days. Answer is fourteen days. However, this study allowance has been uh, uh, discontinued. Next question: Who is the competent authority to concur with the relaxation of rules and provisions incorporated in CCS Leave Rules 1972? Head of the department. Concerned Ministry of the Department, President, the Ministry of Personal and Public Grievances and Pensions. Your time starts now. Competent authority to concur the relaxation of rules. That is, uh, Ministry of Personal and Public Grievances and Pensions. Which leave rule is uh, applicable to a government servant lent by the state government to central government? Uh, CCS Leave Rules 1972. Both leave rules, state and central. Concerned state government leave rules. None of the. Leave rules. Your time starts now. Never is ghost. Eight government employee is lent uh, 
government servant is lent by a state government to central government it is concerned state government leave rules only who is the competent authority to grant leave to a government servant in cases where the leave is applied for by him during the period of transit from one department to another department department from which he is transferred department to which he is transferred either of the departments none of the above your time starts now government servant has applied leave and it has been granted and it has to be granted by whom it will be granted if it is in transit he applies leave it is to which he is transferred the department to which he is transferred has to grant the leave when he is in transit who is the competent authority to grant extension of leave to a government servant where the leave is applied by him in continuation of leave already sanctioned by the office from which he is transferred office from which he is transferred office to which he is transferred either of the office from which he is transferred or to which he is transferred none of the above please post your answer in the comment section the answer is uh, either of the offices office of uh, transfer transfer or office of transfer next question whether the temporary status casual laborers are entitled to the benefits of encashment of leave on their termination of service or quitting service yes no yes 50% of leave at credit yes 50 25% of leave at credit please post your answer in the comment section answer is uh, no next question whether the women temporary status casual laborers are entitled to maternity leave no yes yes but restricted to 135 days none women with this temporary status in casual laborers maternity leave this is yes next question name the kind of leave which is not admissible to officers appointed on contractual basis in various posts for more than one year errand leave half pay leave extraordinary leave study leave your time starts now not admissible it is asked to identify which is not admissible the answer is study leave next question what is the maximum period of eol that can be granted to the officers on contract basis for more than a year but less than 5 years 60 days 90 days 120 days 180 days your time starts now maximum period of eol that can be granted to the officers on contract basis it is 180 days next question what is the maximum number of days of casual leave that can be granted to a government servant at any time at any one time at a time that means 8 days 5 days 6 days 7 days this is important question maximum number of uh, cls that can be granted at any time at one time okay it is 5 days only at a stretch what is the maximum entitlement of casual leave to the government servant uh, who is not entitled to 17 days of public holidays during the calendar year 8 days 9 days 10 days 12 days your time starts now please post your answer in the comment section government servant is not entitled to 17 days of public holidays in a calendar year in such a case it is 10 days of cl what is the number of additional special casual leave admissible to government servant uh, who has disability to meet the requirements uh, relating to his disability 2 days 4 days 6 days 8 days time starts now the answer is 4 uh, days next question what is the maximum period of special casual leave uh, that can be granted to government servant uh, during a calendar year for practice participating in trekking expedition 5 days 10 days 20 days 30 days a trekking expedition it is 30 days next question a government servant has applied for grant of a special casual leave for 15 days in connection with a participation in inter departmental tournaments of uh, sports at mumbai what is the maximum eligibility 5 days 10 days 20 days 30 days your time starts now inter departmental tournament it is uh, 10 days next question a woman employee who is selected for uh, participating in sports event uh, for 15 days from 15th march to 1st march to 15th march abroad uh, that is berlin conducted by international sports body has requested our office to treat the said period as duty is it is she eligible if so what extent not admissible yes the entire period to be treated as duty yes eligible for special casual leave eligible for regular leave the time starts now the answer is uh, 
and that will to be treated as duty next question a government servant uh, who is selected as a technical officer for participation in national sports we went uh, badminton at new delhi for 20 days from 1st september to 20th september as requested for to treat the period as duty eligible or not yes to be treated as duty not eligible eligible for special casual leave and eligible for annual leave the answer is eligible for cash special casual leave only a woman government servant who has been selected for participation in dancing competition organized by national level has requested for a grant of special casual leave for days of 5 days for practice in connection with the above activity organized locally is she eligible yes no not eligible not admissible to be treated as duty not admissible to be treated as ul please post your answer in the comment section the answer is not admissible it is local whether the period of absence in excess of 30 days of special casual leave during the calendar year granted to the employee who had participated in trekking expeditions which has been organized by youth hostels association of india is permissible for combination of regular leave if so what kind of leave is permissible for from the following casual leave errand leave not allowed to combine study leave the time starts now please post your answer in the comment section the answer is uh, errand leave next question what is the maximum period of special casual leave that can be granted to a male government servant who has undergone vasectomy operation for first time under family welfare program two working days 3 4 5 what time starts now this vasectomy tubectomy operations so this is these are important the answer is 5 days for vasectomy next question what is the maximum period of a special casual leave that is uh, admissible to female employee who has undergone tubectomy operation for first time under family welfare program 5 days 10 days 15 days 20 days your time starts now if it is tubectomy then it is 10 10 working days next question what is the maximum period of special casual leave that can be granted to a female government servant uh, for salpingectomy operation along with the medical termination of pregnancy and availed maternity leave for 45 days under rule 43 5 working days 10 working days 15 nil not admissible your time starts now answer is uh, not admissible next question a male government servant whose wife has undergone tubectomy operation for a second time due to failure of the first operation has applied for a grant of special casual leave along with mc what permissible limit of special casual leave 3 days 5 days 7 days 10 days tubectomy second time that is uh, it is 3 days only next question a male government servant whose wife has undergone self grant tummy operation after medical termination of pregnancy has requested for grant of special casual leave 5 days 6 days 7 days 8 days sir is 7 uh, days next question a woman employee has requested for grant of special casual leave as her husband has undergone vasectomy operation how many days of leave she is entitled to 4 days 3 days 1 day on the date of operation 2 days following the date of operation Time starts now. Please post your answer in the comment section. This is important question. It is the one day on the date of operation if the husband undergoes a vasectomy operation. Next question: A woman had already availed special casual leave for ten days for tubectomy operation has again applied for grant of special casual leave in continuation of her earlier special casual leave as she is hospitalized on the advice of hospital authorities on account of post-operational complications. is she eligible for second spell of special casual leave so what is her entitlement 5 days 7 days 9 days the period during which she is hospitalized your time starts now already she has availed 10 days of tube for tubectomy operation now because of her hospitalization and advice of the government uh, doctor second spell she is requesting she then it can be granted the period during which she is hospitalized can be granted as special casual leave a government servant who has lost all his children after having undergone the vasectomy operation earlier has requested for special casual leave for recanalization operation in recognized hospital is he entitled for grant of special casual leave if so up to what period 21 days 30 days 40 days 45 days this is important question recanalization operation because of failure of uh, because he has lost all his children 
and has undergone vasectomy the answer is uh, 21 days next question how many days of special casual leave is allowed uh, to staff member of departmental council of jcm for attending each meeting 5 days 4 days 2 days 1 day time starts now for council of jcm meeting it is a uh, one day next question an official who is on, on uh, is one of the staff side members of departmental council of jcm has requested to treat the day preceding to the date of the meeting of the departmental council as duty but the competent authority has refused to accept the request what is his entitlement to be treated as special casual leave to be treated as regular leave to be treated as duty to be treated as a cl your time starts now the answer is uh, it is to be treated as duty next question what is the maximum number of days of special casual leave during the year that can be allowed to government uh, who is an office uh, government servant who is an office bearer of recognized service association or unions of central government 10 days 15 days 20 days 30 days the time starts now the answer is uh, 20 days next question what is the maximum period up to which a special casual leave can be allowed uh, during the year to a government servant who is a member of executive committee of recognition recognized all india federation to attend its meeting five days ten days fifteen days twenty days your time starts now special peak casual leave for executive committee the answer is ten days next question what is the maximum period of special casual leave admissible during a year to a government servant who is a local member of executive committee of a branch of all india recognized association to attend its meeting 10 days 8 days 6 days 5 days the time starts now branch it is given as a branch branch of all india recognized association it is 5 days next question a government uh, servant desires to appear for an open competition examination to be held by the upsc as a departmental candidate, what is his leave entitlement uh, to attend the, the examination? To be treated as duty period, to be treated as special casual leave, to be treated as absence, to be treated as a regular leave or CL. What time starts now? The answer is uh, to be treated as regular leave or a CL, he has to apply. Next question. A government servant who is an office bearer of a cooperative society which is situated outside the headquarters has requested for grant of special casual leave for three days to attend annual general body meeting to of the society. What is the maximum entitlement of special casual leave for the purpose during the calendar year? Five days, eight days, ten days, twelve days. The time starts now. CCS, Cooperative Credit Society, general body meeting outside the headquarters. It is ten days. Next question. Who is empowered to grant uh, special casual leave to central government employees who are unable to undertake journey to their office on account of band and natural or natural calamities? Head of the office, head of the department, ministry concerned, department of personal and training. Your time starts now. Important question. That is why it is in blue. Natural calamities and band, uh, special casual leave, who can grant? It is head of the department, HOD. In the department, of course, uh, PMG will be HOD. What is the minimum distance between the place of duty and the residence of government servants stipulated uh, for grant of special casual leave in case of uh, failure of transportation on account of band? More than 3 miles, more than 3, 4 miles, more than 5 miles, more than 6 miles. Your time starts now. Minimum distance uh, from the place of duty and residence. Failure of transportation on account of bun, it is 3 miles. Next question. How many days of special casual leave are admissible to government servant who is participating in the meetings of a central committee of Hindi Prashad at Delhi? 2 days, 3 days, 4 days, 5 days. Your time starts now. Who is uh, participating in the meetings of central committee of uh, Hindi Prashad at Delhi is uh, 5 days. Next question. What is the entitlement to government servant uh, who is enrolled as a voter in a particular constituency and if his office has not does not happen to be closed on the election day of the state assembly to enable him to exercise his franchise permission by way of coming late or er leaving early from the office to be treated as CL leave to be treated as special casual leave absence uh, to be treated as duty your time starts now for a state constituent assembly if he has to exercise his uh, franchise as a voter in an outside place, 
the answer would be special casual leave will be granted choose from the following for which special casual leave is not admissible to government survey and donating blood at recognized blood banks participation in republic day parade as a member of st johnson ambulance brigade training and duty as a member of home guards to exercise franchise during the election of uh, panchayat local bodies your time starts now for which of the following special casual leave is not admissible here it is uh, not admissible the answer is uh, to exercise franchise during the elections of panchayat and local bodies means uh, they will not be allowed just they have to go and uh, exercise and come back an occasional late attendance is allowed for such instances which of the following sentences is not correct with uh, respect to child care leave granted to women employees an employee on ccl may be permitted to leave headquarters ltc may be availed while on ccl an employee on ccl may be permitted to proceed on foreign travel an employee has to avail a minimum of 15 days ccl the time starts now which is not correct you have to identify the answer is uh, 15 days of ccl minimum 15 days it is told there is wrong that minimum is 5 uh, days now okay 5 days and 3 spells and 6 uh, cells spells for single uh, female employee okay indicate the rule for recall to duty before expiry of leave rule 22 24 23 25 the time starts now leave rules you mean to say ccs leave rules 1972 under rule 23 next question what are the service benefits uh, that get affected if the willful absence uh, from duty is not regularized by the competent authority and treated as dies non increment leave pension all of the above your time starts now which of the service benefits get affected for willful absence all of the above next question what are the rules relating to action warranted against a government servant uh, remaining absent from duty without grant of leave the for 17a provision to fr 17a1 and rule 326 of ccs leave rules all of the above your time starts now under which rules action can be taken all of these rules it can be taken next question what is the maximum limit of el accumulation uh, in addition to the number of days uh, encashed along with ltc 240 280 300 285 your time starts now maximum accumulation how much that is 300 days next question what is the maximum number of days el to be granted to at any at a time in india 240 300 160 180 el at a time how many days it can be granted it is 180 days next question a government servant uh, retired on superannuation on uh, 31 8 his leave at credit uh, as on 36 uh, 2022 was uh, 280 days what will be the total el at credit uh, for encashment uh, on 31 8 2022 280 days 26 286 days 285 days 295 days the so time starts now on 36 it is uh, 280 days so on 1 17 automatically 15 days will be added normally if there is no retirement but here it says that it, they, he will be retiring on uh, august so july and august two months uh, only that means five days will be added the answer would be to it he died during the duty on 31 3 2022 he was uh, having 260 days el at credit on 31 12 2021 what will be the total el at credit uh, on the date of his death 275 days 268 days 266 days 260 days your time starts now he has died on 31 3 2022 on 31 12 he is having 260 days so on 17 he on sorry 11 he will be having normally 15 leaves would have been added but he died on 31 3 so only 3 months uh, and means 7 uh, days 7 and a half days that is 8 days so the answer will be 268 next question
Mr. P availed UIL without MC for 16 days during the month of March 2022 and Dyson on 4 days for the month of May 2022. His leave at credit on 1-1-2022 was 270 days. What will be his leave at credit as on 1-7-2022? 283, 285, 280, 282. The time starts now. Please post your answer in the comment section. UIL without MC for 16 days and Dyson on for 4 days. The answer is 283. How 283? As on 1 1 2022, it is uh, 270 days. EL. And 1 7 2022, it should be 15 minus something. How the minus will be calculated? EOL, it is uh, 16 days and uh, Dyson is 4 days. These two things will be added. That is 20. 16 plus 420 into 1 by 10. One tenth of the EL will be uh, de deducted. So 20 into 1 by 10, that comes to. 0, 0 cancel it comes to 2 15 minus 2 it is 13 only will be added instead of 15 as on 1 7 so 13 plus 270 it comes to 283 next question is a TA admissible to a government servant if recalled from vacation in a public interest not admissible only 50% admissible admissible in full under SR 142 only 25% admissible but time starts now The answer is uh, SR admissible under SR 42. Next question. What is HPL credit on as on 1-7-2022 if a government servant is appointed on 2-1-2022? 10 days, 6 days, 8 days, 15 days. Your time starts now. He is appointed on 2-1-2022. The answer is 8 days. How 8 days? It is second means. On first it is uh, uh, January it will not be added. So only 5 months. 5 into 2 and half. How many days it comes to? Sorry, 5 into 10 by 3. It comes to 8 days. Next question. 10 by 6. Okay. 10 by 6 you have to take. Mr. K has was having 240 days HPL at credit on 1-1-2022. He was on unauthorized absence for a period from 2322 to 6422, which was treated as Dyson on. What will be the HPL at credit as on 17 2022? 150, 255, 250, 255, 248, 260 days. Your time starts now. HPL on 1122 is 240. Unauthorized absence was there, treated as Dyson on. And 17, how much? is 248 days how 248 as on uh, if you can see here as on 1 1 it is 240 days 1 1 it is 240 days 2 3 2 6 4 means 35 days dies non and uh, 35 days into 1 by 18 it comes to 1.9 that means 2 days 2 days will be deducted from 10 days normally granted then it comes to 8 days 8 days will be added to 240 it comes to 240 there is HPL. Next question. Under which circumstances can a com committed leave be taken without a medical certificate for an approved course of study in public interest for personal reasons to visit abroad for study of PG at one's effort? Time starts now. Please post your answer in the comment section. Committed leave without medical certificate for approved course of study in public interest. Next question. If LND is granted to a government servant and he dies without returning to duty, what is the quantum of leave salary to be recovered? 50% leave salary, no leave salary to be recovered, 75% of leave salary, 25% of leave salary. LND granted to government servant if he dies without returning to duty, no salary will be recovered. No leave salary will be recovered. 24 months of EXYL can be granted to the government servant having 3 or more uh, years of service uh, for the f following purpose. To visit abroad, for domestic purposes, prosecuting studies certified in public interest, none of them. Your time starts now. 24 months of EXYL. The answer is uh, prosecuting studies uh, certified in the public interest. What category of officials uh, will be eligible for grant of EXYL exceeding 3 months for attending pre-examination training course by the government? UR, BC, SCST, no such provision. Your time starts now. UXL exceeding 3 months for attending pre-examination training course. It is SCST. 
Next question. What type of leave can be can run concurrently when an official gives notice for voluntary retirement? EXOL, EL, HPL, all of the above. Your time starts now. Whenever he runs, gives a VRS notice, this can all of these can run concurrently. Next question. Indicate the extent to which the leave salary can be uncashed where a government servant has been compulsorily retired as a measure of punishment and whose pension has been reduced. Full leave at credit, 25%, 50%, 75%. Your time starts now. Leave and cashment for a compulsory retired person as a punishment. It is full leave at credit. Next question. Which of the following kinds of leave shall not be credited during the period which while an employee is on WRIIL? Real. That is uh, errand leave, half pay leave, errand leave and half pay leave, casual leave and restricted holiday. Your time starts now. Which of the following kinds of leave? The answer is uh, errand leave and half pay leave both. Here you, you take it as only, only. So this is these are the uh, one uh, one more hundred questions on uh, leave rules MCQs. There will be one more video on uh, leave rules that will be for some fifty questions. So that will be end of the third video. Okay, thank you. Subscribe to Career Post.